Well, good evening. Howdy. Hello. Here we are. If folks could just see us jamming out to the countdown when that thing is going, we would probably get fired. How about that? Bugging. Is what we, we would were. sure lose our Baptist cards, I'm sure. But anyway, <laughs> y'all, we are tickled to see y'all tonight. I'm back in the chair, and I hope that's okay with everybody. I I tell you what, I was so proud of my youngins last week when they carried on the show. And y'all don't know, there was a lot of chaos that went on behind the scenes on that. And they carried on like pros. Didn't need Papa a bit, but here I am back. And I'm glad to see y'all tonight. Yeah. Good to see Good you. To see you. Um, I tell you, let's do a little speed going, and uh, we want to give our sponsors their due time because we appreciate them so much uh, for sponsoring this episode 18 of Southern Gospel Forward. It's, time is flying by. We are getting closer and closer to having to start season two at some point, you know, but uh, it's, it's amazing. But we have had several friends who have sponsored us tonight, and we are going to talk about them for just a little bit. So we will start off, and I think Brother Evan is going to take our first one. Yes, and everyone can see me, so I'm going to make sure not squint. But uh, it's an exciting concert, the Honor Memorial Day Honor and Remembrance Tour. Uh, with Ernie Haas and Signature Sound and the Promised Land Quartet. We just had uh, Aaron Swain on here. And Ernie Haas has just gotten their new young bass singer. His name is uh, Christopher Taylor. He's a young guy, and hopefully we can have him on the podcast soon. Uh, but this will be Friday night, May 24th, 2024. The doors will open at 5.45 p.m. The concert will start at 6.30. It is at the Lighthouse Worship Center in Heiko, West Virginia. Tickets are $20 for advanced general admission. VIP is $50 for advanced sale only. Entry at 530, but you get upfront seating. You get to meet and greet artists. You get to purchase the you can purchase your tickets by the phone. That is the number is 540-481-0773 or 304-658-3370. Or you can go get your tickets on eventbrite.com. Awesome job, young Evan. You've done that like a pro. Um, and we have the next sponsor is they've really became a friend to Southern Gospel 4. They have sponsored us on several episodes so far. Uh, we are thankful to uh, Larry Jones and the Heaven Bound Trio. And uh, if you will go to www.heavenboundtrio.com, you can follow them on their tour. And they're just an outstanding trio, uh, wonderful people, uh, one, sharing the wonderful message of the gospel and excellence in song. So thank you all so much for sponsoring us once again. And then we have another repeat sponsor. And hey, the repeat sponsors, we thank you all so much. And I hope that this is getting uh, helping you all out as well as we get the word out about you all. But uh, Brother Tony Watson and Crimson River Ministries is they're in their 34th year of presenting gospel concerts. And uh, they've got one coming up on Saturday, June 22nd at 3 p.m. at Lakeview Baptist Church. That's on 7717 State Highway 317, Belton, Texas. Uh, this is going to feature the Down East Boys and the Wiznets. So that's an awesome night. And you can get your tickets uh, at, or you can find out more information at crimsonriverministries.com. But uh, we thank them for sponsoring us. And then we got a new one tonight, and we are thankful for this sponsor, Miss Mary Alice Greer and Truthful Tones with Mary Alice Greer. She hosts a weekly one-hour podcast featuring today's best in Southern gospel music. And uh, it's a one-hour program, and it airs uh, also on the weekend and midweek, 30-minute program on, airs on Wednesdays. Make sure to follow Truthful Tones on Facebook, and you can subscribe to Truthful Tones' YouTube channel there, but you see their website, and you can email request to truthfultones at gmail.com. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. Yep, and then up next we have Shadow Valley Gospel Music Festival. This happens every summer in Fayetteville, Tennessee, uh, at the Brady family's farm out in, it's beautiful out there. It is not too hot. There's tons of shade trees and don't worry if it rains. They have a big barn. They can put everybody in. They have an amazing concession stand. This is a three day weekend, July 11th, 12th and 13th. That's a Thursday, Friday and Saturday. On the first night, they've got 
the singing ambassadors, Compassion, McCray Dev, and the Dev Brothers, and the Inspirations. On Friday, they've got uh, Keeping the Faith, Karen Peck in New River, and Gold City. And then closing it out Saturday, they've got High Road, Bradley Walker, Lauren Talley, and Mark Trammell Quartet. Children 18 and under are free. And then general admission is $20 a person. So bring the whole family out for the whole weekend. You can camp there on the grounds and just make it an entire weekend. It is beautiful. And the fireflies come out at night and they just, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. I go every year. Fantastic. Our next sponsor is Singing in the Smokies, hosted by the Troy Burns family and the Inspirations July 4 through 6. They're going to have um, the king, groups like the Kingsmen. Of course, the Inspirations and Troy Burns family will be there every night. Uh, Inspirations reunion, 60th anniversary reunion, and so many other groups. And you want to make sure to be there. I, I think all of us, except maybe Scott, will be there, Lord willing. And so... <laughs> Yeah, I just got to throw you under the bus a little bit. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> no. And then for tickets, you get your tickets at by calling 828-736-1982 or visit singinginthesmokies.com. Fantastic job. And we always like to give a shout out to the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame and Museum, the Southern Gospel Music Association. You can find out all things about them at www.sgma.org. We would love for you to join us with a membership. $20 a year is your membership there. And then also we want to give a reminder, mark your calendars, September 22nd through 28th. Uh, National Quartet Convention, LeConte Center, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, from Sunday through Saturday. Uh, amazing lineup. Y'all keep that on your calendar. If you haven't been, this is the year to go. And we're going to take that down just a second and talk just for a second. And real quick, uh, if Producer Jason, if y'all will pop in, and I will unmute your mic. But um, hey there, buddy. How are you? Good. How are y'all? Doing good. Y'all don't normally get to see Uncle the crazy Uncle Jason. Yeah. Is it? Assistant He's my favorite, y'all. He's just, oh, thank you. Um, we have put out, we had an announcement to make tonight, and uh, so we want to share that with you. Y'all made some guesses in uh, the Southern Gospel Forward group and different things, and some of y'all um, were really close. Some of y'all were really far away, but we want to share this with you. A bunch of y'all have been praying for and uh, supporting us with sponsorships, and we still Appreciate those coming in as we go forward. But I got a little email uh, a few days ago, and it is official that Southern Gospel Forward will be at the National Quartet Convention. So we have our booth. Wow. But uh, we are going to be set up in the big room they call the Greenbrier Ballroom, and we're going to set up a booth. We hope to meet all of you. We're going to do some recording. We won't be live um, from NQC, but we will do some recording with some fans and artists, hopefully, to replay on this. But uh, just wanted to share that with you, and thank you all for praying with us. And uh, you'll be able to see all of these faces that you see on the screen and one of you have to pay a dime to do it. You can just come by and see them. I mean, sometimes you have to pay with stuff like this at those shows. You know what I'm saying? Freak show? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, y'all just come by and see us. Thank y'all so much for praying with us. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Y'all got anything real quick to say about that? I'll be signing autographs for five bucks. You can meet me for free, but my autograph's going to be $5. I'll, You're I'll paying people. You pay people to sign. Yeah, got you. Pay ten dollars and get a signed picture of me in my overall. So there we go. Well, I, I mean, I'll just be there hanging out. So. <laughs> Avery, Avery, and I will come up with better merchandise. How's that? All right, yeah, all right, it's all right, buddy. Thank y'all so much. And I tell you, let's make let's make quit let's quit making. Can I? I can't talk. Y'all help me. Let's stop <laughs> let's introduce our next guest on making to people show. wait. And I, they're laughing at me, I know, in there now. I can just see them in that green room <laughs> laughing. But uh, first off, y'all share this if you hadn't already. Share it on your Facebook, please, to help us reach out. And also uh, that YouTube channel, if y'all don't mind, subscribe to that. But let's let's hush all the banter and bring in. I uh, have heard this family's music for a while, but I really was blessed with the opportunity to truly meet them 
uh, last year in Pigeon Forge at the National Quartet Convention. Quickly grew to love them, yes, for their excellent music, but more so for their heart and the wonderful people that they are. And we are so tickled today to have with us the Morrison Sisters. Yeah. Woo! Woo! That Riley? Cool. <laughs> How are y'all? Good. Good. Great. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> y'all. So. Were y'all making fun of us in there? Oh no. No, no. no. I tell you. No. Never. Before I came in tonight, I had a two hour and 45 minute meeting at the end of my work day. And that, I am just like tongue tied. So ain't no telling what I'm going to say on this thing. But we are so tickled to have y'all with us. And uh, this is going to be a special night and we are looking forward. And here's what we do. Now, we've got a list of the toughest, hardest hitting questions you'll ever get in your life that's fixing to come at you. But so let's take it easy to start with. And let y'all take a moment, because some people out here may be meeting y'all for the first time. So maybe just give us a little background, tell a little bit about yourselves, and just introduce yourself to our crowd. Go for it. You start. Of course. I'm a huge Elvis fan. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm Brother Wesley. I'm not an Elvis fan, actually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I second that. No, I, <laughs> I am dad of these three pretty young ladies right here, and uh, that's about it. I'm a, I'm, about a, it. I'm a preacher, singer, um, dad, husband, and I love the Lord. We love doing what we're doing, and uh, y'all go ahead. Well, my name's Katie, and I am 20 years old. Is that what we're doing? Just I guess, names I, and ages? I guess we can't do that first. And okay. We'll talk more. I'm Addie, and I'm 18. And I'm Megan, and I'm 23. So the same. <laughs> Twins. Twins. <laughs> so we've got names and ages and prison records, but let's go a little bit deeper and talk about how y'all got started on the road. That's a good. Well, that's a good one. Yep. I was thinking, what are we here talking? We're gonna talk about? <laughs> we're gonna talk about you know? <laughs> We've been singing since we were little bitty, but um, I don't know. I, well, so when it started, should tell about it. I mean, I was thinking that. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with Brother Wesley singing in a different version of a group, and that might have been how this got started. I don't know. Just maybe. Uh, let's talk about it, Brother Wesley. They they relying on you, my brother. <laughs> Uh, that, so, yeah, my sister and my brother-in-law, we sang together as a trio. And, well, my sister and I, we grew up singing together. But then mm -hmm. uh, when she married Josh, we started singing together as a trio. And then we started having kids. And so it got kind of hard to travel. And um, we kind of just put it, put it on the back burner for a little while and, and then picked it back up a little bit. But meantime, the kids are growing up and they're starting to sing, too. So... Josh and Randa, the Jordan family band, right behind your, to your, I don't know if you're left or right there. Uh. They started kind of singing <laughs> as a family and we started singing as a family and uh, how our, how we started, I always point back to a, uh, we, were just, we were just singing church and then uh, we were singing at a, at one of our revival services and there was some visiting, a visiting preacher and he heard a visiting pastor. He heard us sing and invited us to come sing at a, like a preacher's fellowship where there were a bunch of pastors and other churches. And uh, we sang at that. And out of that meeting, I guess we probably got eight or 10 invitations to go to other churches. And that is literally how it started. We had no intention of it being anything other than just, you know, kind of one-offs here and there, and it just kind of blossomed into what it is now. And we've, we've been full-time for about five years now. Fantastic. So uh, let's do the little roundup. We got it. And, and I, I've got some banter and some comments. Now there's no prison records. That was a joke, y'all. That was just a joke from the road hog. Um, oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Aaron Swain was want, wanting to know more about the prison records, but that was just a joke. We just kidding. Um, but maybe do a quick run through the line of the instruments you guys play, and then we'll let our young folks start asking you some questions. Well, I play the bass. I play it. 
Well, yeah, you can't right. play two at once. No, no, you could. I only play bass. Katie plays <laughs> all play the, the other ones. No, yeah. I play the mandolin I, and the piano, but that's about it. Yeah. I, I play nothing. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, we just skipped her because she doesn't. She <laughs> we just assume. Like, sorry, we, we just assume. The bass, she does the air drums. Yeah, yes. yes. oh, that's what I mean. Stands up there and looks pretty. That's about right it. Yeah. Dad. Dad plays <laughs> everything. Dad. No, I play guitar. Right? <laughs> that's it. Yeah, he plays mm-hmm. all the guitars. We're, we're primarily guitar, mandolin, bass. bass. Katie, Katie plays the piano very well, and Lord willing, we're going to start carrying a piano um, pretty this soon. One, in fact. And uh, yes. this one's working on the bass. <laughs> we're talking yeah, about the piano. piano. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Fantastic. Actually, All right. That will be going with us. Right there. Yes. <laughs> and that church angel. <laughs> well, so this is the part in the program where Pepaw takes a little bit of a back burner and our young my young partners do their homework and they've got some questions to fire away at you guys so buckle up here we go hard hitting questions oh, no. we're ready <laughs> which way we want to do it why don't you go, Riley, you go first yeah, there you go go first we'll start off with one from the group it says what is your favorite instrument to play that not including the one you are known for playing Ooh, well i just play the bass <laughs> well that's um, it my first answer <laughs> Katie, what about you? Katie, uh, prob- I would have to say probably the mandolin. I no, like no, the no, he signed that. That. That's the oh. primary instrument. Oh. R- Riley kind of boogered up the question. No, 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 no. <laughs> I had a Joe Biden moment there for. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm very blonde. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> probably the piano. Yeah. Well, she likes the fiddle. I like the fiddle, but I I enjoy playing. The she piano. loves the kazoo. Uh, yeah, the kazoo <laughs> is one of my favorites. <laughs> Honestly, the ukulele is a close second, and then the kazoo, but definitely the piano. And that question was from our Southern Forward. Gospel Forward group. Everything. Long story short, everything. Oh, no, if it, no. if it has strings or makes a noise, she she likes playing. <laughs> awesome. And then you? I uh, probably I don't know bass guitar. I, I, I played that at church for years, and so that's about it. I don't, I don't really play anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My nose, I play it. I'm oh. good. I blow and pick it. Oh. 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 All right. All right. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. <laughs> Evan, bail us out. Um, okay. Um, let's – that one's too early. I'm not going to throw that one out too early. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> um, okay. So – um. We'll throw this out. Um, what are some groups that influence your vocals or, or your instrumental style? This can be a Southern gospel group or it can be a uh, like a secular group. Uh, I really like the Isaacs. Mm-hmm. I like the the Isaacs. I'm influencing the vocals, I would say probably the Isaacs and the Rochesters. 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 Oh, good. Um, inspiration. 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 Riley. Yeah, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we're saying it, no, inspiration, not Riley. That's what I was saying. No, yeah. No. <laughs> Wrong. He, <I'm> <laughs> um, what about you, Addy? Um, I love the Vaughn family. The Vaughn. Oh, oh yes. they're um, from like, what? how far are they? They're closer to Scott. They're closer yeah. to Scott, but they live in uh, in yeah. between me and Scott's area. Yeah, they're about 15, 20 minutes away from me. Fantastic. They're our favorite. favorite. They are awesome. <laughs> Y'all make it in like five minutes. Come on down. Come yeah, on we down. Love them. Mm-hmm. Them, the, Katie. I Isaac. said the Isaacs and the Rochesters. Um, Katie, you like, uh, like, uh, well, I was talking vocals, but if we're going to like. Lauren L. Harris. Katie's oh, my goodness. Lauren L. Harris. Oh, wow. Okay. My mm-hmm. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. Dad? Yeah. We, we, um, probably the first, one of the first. CDs that they listen to other, you know, other than just, you know, Jesus loves me and he's still working on me and he's got the whole world in his hand. You know, the typical right. Sunday school songs we bought, um, the Rochester Matthews tradition CD, yep. the Rochester kids when they were kids and mm-hmm. it was all Ben's kids and all of Scott Becky's kids. And that we probably learned, Six, six or eight songs off of that mm-hmm. album. Six or eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Good. so I would say the McCamies. Oh, McCamies. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're probably 
probably the biggest one to me is probably like Veggie Tales. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, those songs don't really go over well in a Sunday morning Baptist church setting. We gave that a try one time, and it just was, you know, we might as well have been singing brush, you know? One time, one time uh, Halloween fell on uh, a Sunday, and so little kids at church were like, we want to sing a Halloween song, and I'm like, I don't, you can't. And so we played God is Bigger Than the Boogeyman. It was pretty awesome. That is, I would have been shouting. I would have too. It's honestly got some great lyrics. It does. All jokes aside, nobody knows this because nobody knows the song, but one of our warm up songs that we play when we are doing sound checks is a Veggie Tale song. Fantastic. And everyone hear that sometimes. People are in there. We'll ask them, "Do you know what that is?" And we've yet, we've yet to have anybody know. So no. I bet you I know it. Avery, you're up. All right. So, kind of tagging on to that, if you guys individually, if you guys could travel with any group that has been retired and you're no longer on the road, who would you travel with, and why? Oh, great yes, question. Crazy. I love asking that one. <laughs> Katie would pick Larnell here. No. <laughs> no. Uh, it's a hard, I'm not going to be able to answer this. It's There's hard. too many. I oh, mean, I've I got, got one. like four or five. Oh, Eddie's got it. I got All it. All right, Eddie. Flatter rain. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's my that's favorite their, retired that's group. their group that they that used to be in. No. I know what flatter rain is. Oh, um, that is a good one. Which means Megan. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm going to have to say Larnell Harris. That's scary. I, I love that. The same no, I... thing with more than wonderful. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, while they're thinking, oh, come man. on with it. I'll list my 10. Whoa. Oh, okay. All oh. right. So I grew up like the only station we had that we could really pick up was the Moody station out of Chatt Chattanooga. Okay. So it was not Southern Gospel. So I grew up on like Steve Green, Larnell Harris, mm -hmm. old Imperials. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Of the Imperials. Love that 80s version with Russ Taft and all those guys. Those, those were. Where's it at? Where's it at? Pull it out. Pull it out. Where's it at? Uh, Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> peak, peak Imperials. Praise the Lord. Russ oh, Taft. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, but then like that later when we kind of started listening more to Southern Gospel, my my uh, oh, uh, there it is. Wow. Wow. You fit right. The in. best group in Southern Gospel history. The Just saying. And the stash, I'm telling you. Um <laughs> but like uh late eighties, early nineties, Gold City Quartet, Ivan Parker. Ryan Free, those guys, but but also I loved when, when Jay and Jonathan came on board. Um, love the cathedrals. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, that I've was, just started living album. Oh, wore it out. I mean, I wanted to be a McCamey. Yeah, but, McCamey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yeah. Good stuff. I would love to be with all the Rochesters when they were hey, that's all true. big Rochesters. That's true. I would have loved that. was like 300 of them. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Just get right in. Just join in. Nobody, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. The Rochester well, good deal. All we'll right. Be, we made through. We with one twelfth of them next week. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, we made it through one round of questions. And in true classic old man form, I did forget one thing that we need to take care of real quick. We did our... Uh, our sponsors with the uh, with the ads, Jason. Will you pack up, uh, post up our little roller there? We need some individual sponsor thank yous too. Miss Alice Baines, Hannah Bradford, Kyle Goodson, Daniel Hayes, and Andrew Potts. Those are our individual sponsors for tonight's episode. Thank you all so much, and uh, we'll get you in just when we can get you in. I apologize, but we certainly thank you all so much for being a friend to Southern Gospel Forward. Um, while we're at this scroll, Brother Jason, why don't you see what we got in the terms of check-ins on the comments? You got anything that uh, you've got set aside for us thus far? 
All right, Miss Hannah Bradford, one of our sponsors. And I got to say, Miss Hannah also is uh, one of our contributors on the Southern Gospel Forward yes. private group page for all those who are, what we say, 35 and younger, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a private page we have. And she does, which day does she do? Tuesdays. Tuesday. Take me with you Tuesdays. Take me with you Tuesdays. Thank you so much, Hannah. That's better than me. Yep, Mr. Aaron Swain, one of our friends, <laughs> says hello. Howdy, buddy. Ah, uh, here's one of our long timers, Miss Megan Edgeworth. Me and Avery got to uh, see her in person Friday, Friday night. Yes, there it is. Friday. There night. it is. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Yes. We believe yes. it now. <laughs> hey, Brianna Harold. Hello. Thank you so much Hello. for joining us. And here is a uh, better half of what's on the other side of my studio wall here, Miss Rachel Baines. Good evening. Good to see you, Andrew. Appreciate your sponsorship, buddy. Yes. And Lindsay, Lindsay, single name Lindsay. She says Lindsay, hi, everyone. Look, she has some great videos on her YouTube mm -hmm. page. Yeah. And I go and watch those all the time. And we get to see her when we're over in like the edge of Mississippi or like okay. Alabama. So, hey. Hey. Hey, Miss Tiffany Roby. Good to see you. And Annette McKee Brown, you'll see her at many singings. And yep. I think we saw, we saw her Friday night as well. Tennessee. Yeah. Good evening to her and Hannah, Miss. Harrison, another one of our faithful watchers. Thank you. Been there. Mm -hmm. oh, we saw, right. the saw them night. Friday night, too. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us. Brent Bigby says hello from Brandon, Mississippi. Did not see him Friday. <laughs> I didn't see him either, but he's here with us tonight, and we are thankful for it. <laughs> uh, here's another one of our sponsors, Miss Mary Alice Greer, and we are thanking you uh, for joining in with us, and we love what you do for Southern Gospel. And Hello. Becky and David Harrell. Hello, everybody. I know them. Mm -hmm. I know Andrew, Andrew Burnett. Hey, to the SGF family. I miss Whitney Holcomb. How are you doing? And now this one. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. Mom is watching. The blue one. <laughs> yeah. The blue are the three pink hearts. The blue one's one. for me. Oh. oh. I'm sure. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Daniel oh, Garrett oh, says good oh, evening. Oh, oh, yeah. Excited about that concert. Yeah. 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 May the force be with oh. you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Thank you. 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 There's Miss Ashton, and speaking about another contributor, she also is, has one of our weekday contributions on Southern Gospel Forward private group, and she does which day? Watch Wednesday. Wednesday. Watch this is Wednesday. BFF right yeah, here. There, you know. there you go. Thank you so much for joining us, sis. Miss Eunice is with us again from Michigan. Thank you for joining us. We got them all over the place tonight, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Miss Johnny Parrish, she watches uh, us regularly. Hello to you. Mm -hmm. That it? All right. Hey, we've hit our first crew. Um, I don't know what all we have down the tunnel. Y'all, young friends, y'all get ready for another round of questions. But I thought tonight, and I, and I had a conversation off screen with Brother Wesley about this. We have never done this on any of our Southern Gospel Forward shows. You know, normally we just kind of sit around the couch and chair and just talk and hang out. But when you have a group, that plays proficiently their own music. Um, sometimes they can gather around a guitar and sing a little bit. And I asked about if that might be a possibility, especially for some of you that might not be familiar with these wonderful Morrison sisters. So I think they may have a tune lined up for us. And I think if y'all are okay with it, now is a perfect time to do it. If you want to talk it up, lead into it, I'll let you have it. All right. You still haven't told us what we're singing yet. So yeah. Yeah. What are, we, what are we thinking, Dad? You ain't nothing but a house. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
dancing, I was living. No thought was I giving up dying or where I would go. I was looking and buying. So hard was I trying to gain all this world had to hold. No peace and no pleasure. Could I even measure with all that I had to gain? But I repented and prayed and God saved me that day. And now I've got something to say. I'm not going to hell. I'm at the Savior. What a story I tell. I'm saved and forgiven. Set free, all is well. I'm not going to hell. No, I'm not going to hell. Now my life's worth living since I've been forgiven. Christ made a real change in me. And I'm no longer crying. When I think about dying, cause heaven is waiting for me. Now Satan's still lying, and he's always trying to lead you down the wrong way. But just call on Christ's name, he'll save you today. Then look back to Satan and say, I'm not going to hell. I'm at the Savior. What a story I tell. I'm saved and forgiven. Set free, all is well. I'm not going to hell. No, I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to hell. I'm at the Savior, what a story I tell. I'm saved and forgiven, set free, all is well. I'm not going to hell, no, I'm not going to hell. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, put out the offering plate, sweet. We had it there. There it is. Well, the uh, peanut gallery in our comments is basically telling us to hush and yeah. just to let them sing the rest of the time. But hey, that was good. That was fantastic. Good. And yes, that that's exactly uh, what we wanted to do. I saw some comments that was introduced for the first time to the harmonies of the Morrison sisters and what a wonderful job. Ooh, fantastic. Hello. Thank you all for sharing. And if you're okay, a little bit lo later in the uh, show, y'all might could do the uh, other one that you was fixing to tune up there. Please do the veggie tails one. Please. <laughs> you know, plays it on the mandolin, so you, she plays the melody on the mandolin. So I can't. I don't know the word. Oh, I don't know if I know all the words. We just usually play it as an instrumental. <laughs> That's your key. No. Let's yeah, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, thank you all for sharing, and let's go back into a round of questions. And I think it is Brother Riley's Oop. turn. Well, let's see. Um, what is your each of your favorite songs to sing and that ministers to y'all most personally? That's a hard question, so that's why I asked. It was no, my mom, my mom just scared me. She just scared me. She just scared me, and I didn't. can't see it. We have a window in the house right here, and their mom stuck her head up in the window. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so but, sorry. Riley, go ahead. But yes, yes, I understand the question. Sorry. Let's, re let's try that again um so what is your favorite song and i guess you can just go one by one what is your favorite song to sing that ministers to you individually i say i have been blessed definitely he's always been faithful he's always been faithful my favorite worry in worry in when he speaks when he's but which one's your favorite Mm, I'd probably say I have been blessed. I'm going to say he's always been faithful. Uh, probably when he speaks peace for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad? I'm going to say he's always been faithful. It's probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as 
that's that's oh, got a special place in my heart even before we started singing it so it was yeah my uh my favorite is i i've been blessed mm-hmm. um brother west would you strum the key in just a quick acapella chorus of that mm-hmm. katie and that probably knows the key mm-hmm. it's perfect I have been blessed, God is so good to me, precious are his thoughts of you and me, no way I could count them, there's not enough time, so I'll just thank him for being so kind, God has been good. So good, I have been blessed. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Man, them harmonies are tighter than a Boy Scout knot. <laughs> what? God, Leo's harmonies are tighter than a Boy Scout knot. Let's, uh, that thank y'all for sharing that. Good gracious, alive. Hey, Evan, you got a question in your pocket? <laughs> well, here's my question: How do you sing harmonies like that? I mean, my goodness. Um, I don't know. Is it is it like okay? When I, this is more so what when you're arranging a song, do y'all kind of already go for it and just dive in the pool and know your part, or is it a you know, a hard work of, okay, here's what I, we're going to do. I tell everybody this, Brother Evan, and this is the easiest way I know to explain it. And I think if you talk to any family group, they would kind of say the same thing. But it is a lot. There's a it, there's something about a family. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, you know, you kind of have the same, uh, you know, Vocal. tone and vo- vernacular mm-hmm. and genetic. You know, there's a genetic thing there, I believe. Right. I think that's the case with all family groups. Like you hear groups like Collingsworth. the Collingsworths. Nobody sounds like the Collingsworths. Right. Only the Collingsworths sound like the Collingsworths. And and all family groups, like the Rochester, we talk about the Rochesters, the McCaneys. Nobody yeah. sounds like the McCain. Mm-hmm. Um but um I think there's something to that. I think it's it's now yeah, obviously you do have to because when they first started singing, they they, they didn't they didn't know harmonies, they didn't sing right. harmonies. And people also ask, well, when did you start teaching them harmony? And the, the honest question is, I never taught them harmony. More picked up, yeah. Picked it up. In fact, the first time I heard any of them sing a harmony part, we were listening to a McCamey song. Oh. We were riding down the road, listening to Right on Time that the McCamey yes. song. And mm-hmm. Katie started singing the invert, like the octave higher than I think it was Peg's alto. Mm-hmm. And I, I was mm-hmm. like, I know that's not Peg. She doesn't sing that. <laughs> I, I turned around in our little minivan and I was like, that's Katie. She was, she was probably eight, eight or nine at the time. Mm-hmm. And I just remember, I may have said it out loud, but I was just like, thank you, Lord. I have a harmony singer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we went home that day, or it, if it wasn't that day, it was very shortly after. And I got my guitar out and I started playing. I was like, get in here, Kate. What you were doing, do it now. And she just did it. She just heard it and did it. And that is awesome. after that, Addie and Megan picked up harmonies too. But initially they would just sing lead, Addie and Megan, and Katie would sing soprano and I would sing the, the tenor part. And that's how it kind of started. So Awesome. That is, just, that is It just happened very nice. And to, to answer your question about how we do that, it literally is we just hear a song we like and we'll just kind of hum it around the house and sing it and, then when we're setting up, you know, to sing somewhere, we'll do a little, you know, just kind of, we, we do a lot of just kind of, kind of trial by fire. We just mm-hmm. sing something and see how it goes. And that's the good thing about singing in a lot of little churches that don't have live stream or anything. You just kind of practice on them, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So we do that a lot too and figure it out as we go. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> it is. Okay, so this is another question that I kind of ask everybody because it's just fun to hear the different answers. So if you didn't sing full time, what would you do for like a job? Um, well, I do with this too, I do uh, web development and graphic design. Yeah. Um, 
I went to school for web development and web design, so I do that anyway. So I guess if I didn't sing, I'd probably just do more of that, probably. Yeah. Um, I thought about going to Bible college years ago, but I mean, you yeah. know, I don't know. So probably just what I do now, but more. And yes. your work is great. I've seen oh, some of it. Thank you. Yes. Thank Absolutely. You. And so while we're at it, Megan, won't you share your website address? All right. <laughs> um, my website is little bitty creativity. I do all, like I said, like graphic design. Dot com. Oh, dot com. Com. Dot com. Sorry. Web developer doesn't even say dot com. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, just, I thought we were like, is there like somebody you like you know more than I do? No, 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 no. Um, I have an Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff too. And I do all the graphic design, web design. I also do like uh, jewelry and apparel and printing and anything like that. Mm -hmm. I do so I did Riley's uh, stuff. He has a podcast yes, not on his stuff. Um, he did a wonderful job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's littlebittycreativity.com. Very good. All that mm -hmm. stuff. So I guess I'd probably do that. Yeah. To answer right. that probably work at Chick-fil-A. I was going to say, I'd probably work at a fast food yeah. restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely would. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. Riley? Yeah, Riley works at Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. I think I'd love really to work cool. at Chick-fil-A. I would, too. That's like a dream job. It is, yeah. I, I would. Right. It's okay for a little bit. Yeah, I probably would probably went to college to have been a nurse. Like mm -hmm. for, yeah, probably. Katie, Katie is a doula. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but she. Yeah! Helped. Wow. Uh huh. I'll explain. Oh, okay. Later. <laughs> I'll explain later. We'll explain. <laughs> she, <laughs> helps, she helps bring babies into the world. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> of course. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's very cool, though. That is awesome. Katie's I'm sorry, I didn't know what that was. Dad, what about you? Yeah, Dad. Uh, well, my I, I I'm a IT guy by trade, so I've always loved computers, and I also uh, used to own a web development company, also, and so I did a lot of that. Still, still do a lot of that with Megan, help her out, and that'd be what I would do probably some something IT related. Mm -hmm. Very good. Cool. All right, let's keep it going. Go another round. What? I guess this I can do kind of a fun one. What is your favorite Bible character and why? Oh my y'all are really good at this. Yeah, I've never heard such a good We've questions. We've did a few of these and the questions were just terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good. Um I'm gonna say Esther. I was gonna say Esther. Oh my word. I was gonna say Esther. You, to pick another one. Can, you can do the you know the you know everybody I'm, loves Paul. <laughs> <laughs> like Paul, he's Jesus. great. Jesus. Jesus is a good one. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to say Esther. Esther is, well, it's, it's hard to pick favorites, but yeah. Esther was just a queen now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course. Stop. Shoot far. What about you? I, I know it's controversial. I like Peter a lot because he seems to always be messing up, and I feel like that's me. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> no, I'm serious. I really, I'm so serious. I feel like he's always. I messing feel up. that though. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Despite how messed he, up he is, he has a way of putting his foot in his mouth. That's for sure. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> sometimes. Good. Me all the time, don't we? Good stuff. Yeah. It's too. That's too hard for me to answer. I. I there's so Just many. Well, I'm out. Actually, I'm I'm out. Out. I guess if I had to pick, it would be I, I like Timothy. Yeah. Ooh. I like yeah. Trying to, because there's not, you don't really ever hear from Timothy, but you hear a lot about Timothy and a lot talk. You know, Paul talks to mm -hmm. Timothy a lot. And just, I was, I've always been intrigued by the character of Timothy and his, mm -hmm. as a young preacher and pastor. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But of course, yeah. You know, yeah, Jesus. Jesus is a good one. I think Evan's up. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how many episodes y'all have watched of this, but this is like my question. So oh. buckle in. Like what is your favorite road trip snack when you're on the road? Ooh, oh, man. And answer carefully because people haven't known to bring them to concerts. 
Say that again. He should I said answer carefully because they'll bring them. Oh. Ooh. I mean, mm -hmm. steak and baked potato. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the best answer that question's ever gotten. <laughs> oh, no, it's it's funny you say that, Ms. Avery, because like as as a family that travels, I'm not I don't know if this is the same with all groups. I'm sure it is to some extent. But we get that a lot. Like the pastor will text us mm -hmm. or whatever. They'll be like, what are your favorite snacks? And we're always just so self-conscious about that. Because, you know, that I, we obviously have favorite things. But you don't, mm -hmm. I just like, we're not going to tell you everything that is our favorite, you know. But most of the time, they're very pushy about it. Like, they're like, if you don't tell us, we're just going to buy random stuff, you know. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Raisins. Raisins. Yeah, right. I'm gonna say anything that looks like a pretzel. She what if it doesn't pretzel. Pretzel pretzel taste like a pretzel or taste like a pretzel? I don't Katie's know. A big to, pretzel but if it says pretzel on it, <laughs> that's that's, that's to, me. To give you a little perspective on that, we were in Hanover, Pennsylvania a couple weeks ago. And for those of you that may not know, that is like the pretzel capital of the United States. We're Snyder's pretzel. Uh, <laughs> we went to the Snyder's pretzel place and she bought like bags and bags of Snyder's pretzel. Good week, girl. That's a good week. She's for Klimt. Oh no, I can't talk. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, I'll, I'll say salt and vinegar chips. Okay. No, you, you love to burn those taste buds off. Yeah, yeah eat them so you can't anymore. As long as it don't hurt the vocal cords, it's fine. That's you know? right. That's right. That's probably right. Probably how those don't. That's right. Yeah. Probably does. Good, That's my problem. I like those too. Yeah. I like uh, goldfish a lot. Goldfish. Okay. Goldfish. Goldfish. Are goldfish, are goldfish, are free. <laughs> goldfish. What are your thoughts on whales? The off-brand goldfish. Oh, like the and one. one? Got like I, I got you. I got you. I know some people who are like the whales are better, goldfish are better. It's a debate, you know. Lying. Team They're goldfish. Lying. Team goldfish. All right, all right, cool, cool. I mean, I like cheeses better than goldfish. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a sunflower seed guy. I love okay. sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds and raisins. And you know, we have a pretty big live audience right now, and I'm going to take this opportunity too. Um, because Brother West kind of hit it, you know, how y'all get hit up with what you like to eat, what you like, what you want, and all this going to bring you stuff. Um, etiquette for family groups like this or any group, any person you have seen. Um, because I really believe, and that's one reason we like to ask, you know, all this stuff they said is pretty much stuff you can buy packaged and all that. Love on these groups, bring them stuff, shower them. But if they don't know you, maybe avoid the home cooked stuff and just just amen just and, and it's nothing against anybody because oh, everybody I'm everybody loves everybody but i'm just being honest with me if i don't know you a little bit and if i don't know your kitchen and if i don't know if there's 25 cats running around in your living room i'm probably not going to really be very and there's some funny stories out there in the industry right. about stuff like this that we ain't going to touch because we keep everything positive. The things that you can say. <laughs> yeah. But, but like, keep it, keep, keep it packaged. It, yeah. Unless you really, they know you or they really know, or, you know, you have that connection there. That's just Southern gospel fan etiquette. One on one. Is that good? Did I do good on that. I so feel the Holy Ghost and what you're saying right now. <laughs> The Lord's moving in here. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't nod anymore. It, here, here's the thing. Uh, we are, you know, we go to a lot of homecomings. Sure. Uh, <laughs> you know the potluck trick, don't you? But with <laughs> homecomings, you can kind of pick and choose, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. but, but to your point, yeah, we have been a, a few places, not a lot, but a few places where they're just, they're going to bring it to you whether you want it or not. And, and yeah, and one or two of those have been sprouting things. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in the food. I'm telling you, they had fluffy with the sous chef. Yeah, fluffy with the sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> and all that to say, because again, now we're extremely big on being positive petunias on this show, but yes. we love everybody loves everybody. It's just 
I mean, just think about it. These folks travel thousands of miles a year and yes, come yes. in and don't know. And I mean, you know, it's just, 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 that's just a little. We're trying tip. to keep them alive. Yes. Tip. No, just and, 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 and to let, because I, yeah. yeah. For sure. All right. Where were we at? Uh, with Avery? <laughs> yeah, I think. Follow that. Yeah, really. <laughs> My life story. <laughs> oh, let's see. So have you guys ever had a fan interaction that really blessed you? I love asking that because they're, you know, we get to see you guys all the time and you bless us. But has there been any special moments with the fans that have touched you? I think every time little mm-hmm. girls come up yes, and like, well, it either draw a picture or just say mm-hmm. yeah. any little kids drawing. Pictures. I think that that is that. so That's precious. Sweetest. That's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I mean, most importantly, when, when, when the Lord moves and somebody is, is helped, mm-hmm. that's first mm-hmm. and foremost. And, and that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. God be the glory. And um, that, that's, but yeah, I mean, there, there's, after we sing, there's always, you know, little kids, especially when the girls were smaller, little kids were just drawn to them and they still are. And that's always just precious, you know, to have mm-hmm. um, that. I remember when I was a kid and I remember preachers and singers who actually gave me the time of day. Mm-hmm. And I remember that. And I remember what an impact that made on me. So mm-hmm. we've got to be very mindful of that. And it's always special moments. Like that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You never forget that. I, um, I'm, I'm 50 years old and I'll never forget the Southern gospel artist that would actually take time with me as a, as a poor young teenager, um, to, to, you know, let me talk to him. And at that point in time, didn't really have the three, four or five bucks it took to buy a cassette or anything, but they still loved on me and took time mm-hmm. and, and, and spent the time with me. And, uh, I remember when Garrett was coming up and I remember at the artist that would take the time with him and make such an impact. And he still loves, has a love for Southern gospel in his heart as a, as a fixing to be 21 year old because of that, you know, um, and that right. impact and, and y'all, you do resonate to the young people because of the ages of the girls for sure. And, um, that's, that's powerful. That's a powerful tool you have, uh, to, to influence and to make an impact on young folks. And I don't know about y'all, but I still see over these last few years, more and more young people at, our concerts, which is a blessing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm tickled about it, which is one reason we do what we do on here, trying to get young artists and young fans together. But uh, sure. yeah, th- thankful for what y'all do. I would say too, brother Scott, that, that uh, I'm very proud of a lot of the other younger artists in the industry too, that are, that, uh, you know, we talk about the inspirations, those guys, mm-hmm. you know, they just, they've never met a stranger. They're always yeah. willing to talk to anybody. They're always so super kind um, we're friends with the Mylon Hayes family. They're the same way, just sweet as can be. Yes. And, uh, that, that always uh, impresses me, um, you know, when we're like at the Cortez Convention and places like that, where we're these other groups, how, how they are the same way. And you can tell they appreciate it and know they, they've been where we are too, and they know exactly what we're talking about. And mm-hmm. that's a great thing. Absolutely. Riley, kick off another. I'm, I'm not prepared, so okay. Let's see. Let's see. I was just, I was just sitting there listening. I was just <laughs> do we want to pull the comments in real quick? Yeah, we do that. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll all put our things. Hey, let's give, give away a CD while we're doing that. Okay. All right. So Ooh. we're. We're going to go through comments, but so brother yep. Wes, how you want to do this? Just and you can. I'll, let's do this, brother Scott. If they want to just like PM you their mailing address, like you pick one at random, and then you send it to me, I'll stick it in the mail. We'll stick it in the mail to them. Okay, perfect. So anybody who would be interested in having that's the steel project, right? That's our latest one. Yep. Yep. So yep. anyone interested in having that? If you'll be say. Uh, I want it or me or something like that in the comments. First yep. one that we see here, we'll communicate with you and uh, let you take that we'll home. Do, we'll do another one later. And then then I had an idea later too. Maybe you can be thinking about this, Brother Scott. This is our thumb drive that has all of our music, five albums. Yeah. Thumb drive. And maybe, maybe if somebody wants to do like sponsor an episode or something, we'll give that away to them. How does that sound? Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. So we do have a winner 
on the first CD, Kyle Goodson. That's the first. I think that's the first one I saw pop up. So that's that's the winner. And so, yes, if somebody would like to sponsor or make a donation to Southern Gospel Forward, you can make a comment on there. And the first one that we get in with that um, will pick up. And I've got that thumb drive and it is amazing uh, all the projects including the project with uh west yeah. brother wesley and josh and randa yep it's on there as well so there's actually five albums on there mm -hmm. wow. and i'm already i'm already getting a little clip back on our comments but i promise you what we have to look at is is what comes into our studio first as far as who was first on that and i apologize but the first one we saw was uh was kyle so we're going i think you said may do another one later yeah, so, we'll do another one yeah yeah but uh, y'all hang in there with us but uh we can only take what we can see. So apologize for that. All right. So here we go. Here's our comments we're popping in from is that Chardon or Chardon, Ohio? Chardon? No. Chardon. Chardon. One of them. Brian Park. Thanks. Hey, Mary Beth May. Good hey. to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, I know Scott this. Brand. Scott Brand. Scott Brand. I ain't seen you in a minute, Scott. He is an awesome <laughs> dude, and we appreciate him watching us. Hey, Caitlin Grindstaff, I love their family music, and they do a wonderful job. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh. They weren't saying hey to <laughs> Vanessa, thank you for joining us. Um, I don't hey, not Vanessa. want to mess. There you go. Oh, look at here, Kyle Goodson, tuning in while cooking dinner. What time are we going to eat, Kyle? Just oh, in South Alabama, you know that's some good eating. Yes, sir. <laughs> What? Shannon Breckenridge or Shannon Breckenridge. Hello from West Virginia. Howdy, West Virginia. Larry Wolf joining us. Hello, Morrison sisters. Larry. We know Brother Larry. Same sister. Wendy Carol Qualls. Oh, that's Brother Qualls' wife. That's Wendy. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much. Yes, yes that's what I was telling you. Yes. I must agree with Miss Blair mm -hmm. that this past year. Uh, there, there were about three moments that I would just single out at National Quartet Convention. And none, enough. none were above when y'all sang "I Have Been Blessed," and then Brother Bill said, "Ho, oh, whoa, hold it just a moment. Don't leave the stage. Don't worry about that clock on the stage." And had y'all sing that again, and all whatever seven, eight, nine thousand, however many people were there that night, stood to their feet as y'all went back through that. Can you talk just a second about that experience? Scary. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm glad Brother Bill said, don't worry about the clock. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were worried about the clock. That's like, that's like the longest song we sang, and we had five mm -hmm. minutes. So, right. we're like, we're going to get through this. You know, we, we don't, this is, that was our first time on main stage, and so we didn't want to, like, you know, blow it the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a blessing. We, we were the, the biggest thrill to us was the man who wrote that song was there that night. Oh, fantastic. And he, uh, it was the first time I've talked to him before via email and text or phone and things like that, but I've never, we never met him. And he's just literally one of the most, um, unassuming people you'd ever, you would never know that he wrote the song, wow. but also just one of the most precious. He just wept the whole time. He was just, <laughs> one of the sweetest people you'd ever meet in your life. And so that was a super, you know, big blessing to, to yeah, <laughs> and I tell you what, and also the patriotic thing that brother Bill, we weren't expecting that at all. Right. And that just, that worked out very well. And we thought that was a blessing mm -hmm. too, to, have, to be able to honor those that were there that were, that had served and, and honor our country. And there's, there's yes. a, a song about that. It just was, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that was one of them moments during convention that I was glad that, well, they did turn the lights up for the second time, but the first time I was glad the lights were down because I was back there squalling like a mashed cat. So, uh, I know when they turned the lights on, we could see everyone. And that's when I was like, whoa, It's hard to get through that one without weeping. It really is. Yeah, yeah. We sing it every, every week, and there's rarely a time I get through where I'm not crying. It's just one of those songs with a special touch on it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Brother Jason, did you have any more to pop up there? Hey. Well, Beverly Goldman. Hey, guys. 
Oh yeah, that was when y'all were singing. Um, <laughs> and I was remembering my mic was muted because I started to put in a little. I was started to sing along with y'all, and I thought, well, the timing's not going to be laid up, and this is going to be ugly, and I can't sing anyway, so I'm gonna hush. But uh, anyway, oh, Louise, my best friend, family, favorite part of singing as a family. Yeah, how about that? Favorite part of being on the road together as family. I was, I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Being together. Spending, being together, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. It's a blessing. All the fun <laughs> food. <I get> to. <laughs> oh, man. Really. Really. It's family harmony at its finest. I agree. Miss Tiffany says, yes, family harmony is the best. You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. And that's my brother, cousin, Neil Champion. And when he and Chris and I sang, we like that blood harmony, too. Um, they do it much better than I do. But, uh, yeah, thank you, brother, for joining in. You can't beat family harmony. You're right, Blair. Brother Shout Nicholas. Out. Look who showed up. Look at him. How you doing? Kyle Coker, the Marson sisters, and Brother Wesley oh, are the best. Our yeah. That's our pastor. Oh, oh, fantastic. Cheryl Crock is watching from southern Indiana. How deep? Ah, here's a oh, question yes. from producer Jason. So, and she usually she usually knocks this one out of the park for us every time we get on. What's your favorite hymns and scripture verses? And maybe Meg. Uh, hymns is a uh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Is that a hymn? That's a hymn, right? Turn your yeah, eyes. absolutely. That's probably my favorite hymn. Uh, and then scripture verse would be Proverbs three, five, and six. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own. That is a good one. That was our sermon Sunday night. <laughs> oh, wow. there you go. that's my favorite. <clears throat> Patty. I'm, I'm, she's, I'm trying to think of my favorite <laughs> hymn. I'll, I'll go. My, mine's Jesus Lover, My Soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite hymn. One. Favorite verse is Philippians 121. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Mm -hmm. The last time I said my favorite verse. The I last time I'm going to get, I'm going to interrupt. <laughs> the last time Addie gave her favorite verse, she thought we were, we made fun of her for I it. I didn't we think did I not. was right. <laughs> yeah, he fine. didn't as much as so you can give your favorite verse it was um uh, first corinthians 15 10 by the grace of god i am what i am but okay. there was a a message preached on it that i just loved it was great i don't even remember who it was <laughs> but <laughs> that's the way it's supposed to be i mean you're but, supposed to remember the message not the message hey, right. there you go <laughs> katie my favorite hymn I can't. Did you give a pick a favorite? I didn't give a hymn. I can't. I really can't. I love this old hymn book. I mean, the B I B L E. I'm telling you, I love what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah, I mean, whenever Linda Randall sings that, that's one. There you go. Yes, love Linda Randall. Linda Randall is one of the best events I've ever been to. Like. Oh, I thought you said that. <laughs> no, no. Linda Randall is like one of the best concerts I've ever sat in. It was our Christmas okay. program. She was like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got the CD. I got the signed CD. This is probably my it. favorite. Right when, here the too. Swing open. when the home gate swing open for me is a good one. I like that one too. Yes. I love that one. That we sang that at singing school. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I listened to that by Greater Vision back in the day they did. Oh, yes. I didn't yep. think that. That's awesome. That's, That's old playlist. school greater vision. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. I think we made her around. Riley, are you prepared yes. now? <laughs> Probably not, but we're going to go with another fun question. What is a what your favorite funny road story? Oh, oh man. Oh, there's so many. I'm going to be so careful many. about what we say. <laughs> I know there's so many that are, hey, this. Like, I mean, right. Oh. There are oh, so there, many. There is so many. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking we're not we're not like trying to be there like there's so time. many, but there really is a lot that we can't. try to pick one that's not super long. <laughs> so, yes. That we fell downstairs during Sunday school. Oh, oh yes, yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, well, yeah. that was Sunday not school. a favorite funny story. That's sad. No, it was. <laughs> she Actually, laughs later. I promise. She just, she's okay. She still has both of her feet. <laughs> Sunday morning, we we usually don't. We try to get there the night before and set up so we don't have to get up 
so early in the morning something on Sunday morning. Something happened, like we hit traffic or something. Yes. Anyway, long like, story short, yeah. we were we were setting up the sound system during Sunday school, and Mom fell down the, sun, the yep. stairs of the stage. Oh, yeah. mercy. Oh. While they were right there. Sunday school. Oh, mercy. Funny? No, I was dying. We were, we were, <laughs> so was Mom. <laughs> <laughs> God rest your soul. <laughs> so, oh my word! Oh, no. it was it was it, funny. It, it, my, it was funny for about two milliseconds. Then yeah, it wasn't like, funny yes, we did have to. Yes. The the Shoot. preacher was just like, <laughs> he was like, "You okay, sister?" <laughs> she probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What? Thanks, Thanks, guys. Guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Throw mama under the bus. I'd like to also pull up Aaron Swain's comment just to bring back from a former episode. He said it's funnier after the fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is true. It is true. <laughs> as as a as a fellow guy who also died, Aaron knows a thing or two because he's yes. seen a thing or two. Oh yeah. Well, Evan, you had a quick hitter. Um. What's y'all's favorite Veggie Tales silly song? Oh, silly song, cheeseburger. I was about to say cheeseburger. Is my... I'm mm. gonna go with Song of the Sabu. Oh, thank you. I thought I was the only person on her. One. Mine's either uh, Pizza Angel oh. or Barbara Manatee. Barbara Manatee. There you go. Dude, okay. hold on. I got a little manatee thing. Oh, no way. He actually has Barbara Manatee. I have to go to years. Go to years. You want to get her? Oh, oh, oh. Angel made me so sad as a kid for some reason. Like, oh, he's like, got my manatee <laughs> named Barbara. You already oh, know. No <laughs> way. Manatee dog. I love manatees. They're my favorite animal. Really? They're scared. She's going to get hers. I wonder where it was. Um, we, just we, we were in the manatee capital in Florida, the United yeah. States, Ocala, a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, throw her it's so cool down there. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Y'all got a manatee too. Yep, this is Barbara. <laughs> and just in case that anybody was wondering at home, I don't have a manatee, but anyway, oh, <laughs> Riley, hey, do you have a manatee? Well, Riley, I should need one. I will go. I will go on Amazon and buy one right now. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Hey, hey, Love offering for that too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Avery, you got a quick hitter? Uh, yeah. So omitting in QC, I did not when I first asked this question. I didn't say that. So omitting in QC because that is everybody's guess. What is your favorite event of the year? Mm. Uh, uh, we don't. We don't really go to many. Well, it doesn't have to be big. You know, wait a minute, what are you talking about? We do a hundred dates a year. Yeah. <laughs> she's, talking about, she's talking about any, I don't necessarily think she, she's talking about like concert, like anything, right? Any yeah, minute. yeah. Anywhere, yeah. where's your favorite place to go and sing? Really oh man! I thought she meant like, like, like where a bunch event. of groups yeah, come together. together. It can be, it doesn't have to be. Um, Could be a special church you like to go to. Well, I really want to meeting. We're going to go in a couple weeks. We go to Solid Rock's tent meeting in New Jersey. New Jersey. I really love that one. Love New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, When we do Florida tour in January. When we go to Florida, we go to Landmark Baptist Church, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Did we? I did mm-hmm. I go to Landmark? Mm-hmm. I went to when I was with the Chuck Wagon game. We went to Landmark. I and that play, was just a oh, sweet church. I had to play piano uh, there because the piano player got sick, and that was wild. Wow. That was something. They are a sweet church. They are really yes, sweet. We were so sweet. It was awesome. That was an awesome church. Um well, Brother I'm, Wes, we didn't really have conversation on time, and I know y'all have had a tiring week, and I think kind of uh, we don't want to wear y'all out. So, you know, give me a, the cut signal at any point. But <laughs> could you – let's? all right, do you want to share that one other um, song right quick? Is this a good time yeah. to do that? Another one. Let's do something slower. Um, how about we practice one on y'all? Can we do Perfect. that? Oh, yes. So this is – I talked about the music I grew up on. Um, this was a song that uh, that I remember hearing as a boy, okay, and forgot about it. And then I don't know, six or eight months ago, uh, I was listening to one of my Apple playlists, and when it finished, it played this song. You know, it kind of plays songs that it thinks you might like, kind of. Sure, thing. Mm-hmm. sure. And this is an old '80s song that I heard 
on the Moody station. Uh, and the lady who wrote and sang it was a lady by the name of Twyla Paris. Mm -hmm. She's wrote a lot of great songs, a lot of kind of modern hymns. hymns. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one she sang. And uh, we're going to put it on our new album. It's called Covenant Keeper. Yes, sir. That was so good. Fantastic, y'all. That's look an awesome song. I, I love looking. 80s. I mandolin, though. It's so weird. I'm looking forward and excited about hearing a new project. That's awesome. We are, too. It's going to be uh, our most ambitious project yet. It's a... Uh, Long time coming. We we mm. that'll be on there. We're uh, we're actually putting a choral piece that I wrote on there. Um, then uh, what else? My heart knows is a song we're gonna put on there. That the Christ family used to sing. Yes. yes. Uh, Holy Hills. Holy Bye. Hills of Heaven. Dottie, we do yeah. a couple of yeah. those songs. Yep. Too much to gain to lose in the Holy Hills of Heaven. Yeah. Uh, what a day that'll be! What a day that will oh, be! That, we should have said that. It's gonna be a, a kind of an eclectic mix of I love new some songwriters, friends of ours have written. A, there's a really good songwriter named Faith York. She wrote mm -hmm. some songs for Eleventh Hour, and some she wrote some great songs. One yeah. of my favorite that she wrote has been featured on the CT Townsend. Uh, was it? Hasn't been told. Yes. Oh my goodness. Love that one. Yes. What a song. She's a what phenomenal a song. songwriter. And they're great sweet, people. Great sweet, sweet. people. Um, so we're doing one she wrote called Keep Asking. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're looking the whole album. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Keep asking. <laughs> you know, a surprise. Um, all right. Well, let's do this. Um, we're going to come back around and talk about your website and a few things in a second. But um, we do a little something, and I, I this got started early on, and it's kind of become a tradition and it does put you all Scott and found out it was Trevor who started it. Trevor started it. He Trevor Conkle started it. Um, and we didn't even ask him to. He just did it. But we've kind of kept yeah. it in the program. Now, this this puts y'all on the spot a little bit. But so we give an opportunity for the guest to ask the host panel a question. Any question you want to ask anybody, want any one of us or want something for all of us, just come up with a question. You 
man. Make uh, it tough. Let's see. Y'all tell us about your prison records. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. I had a speeding ticket last week. <gasps> yeah. Oh. No, I'm kidding. No, you're not. I'm not kidding about the ticket, but I'm yeah. kidding. I'm not I have one. I have a good one. Okay. What is what is, or I should say, who is someone that I know y'all go to a lot of concerts or whatever or things like that. Mm -hmm. um, what was one that when you met them you were just like you know what I mean starstruck like one of your favorites. Huh. Oh, there's, been there's a lot of people. I get starstruck literally over my own shadow sometimes. <laughs> like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Scott Fowler from Legacy Five. Because I grew up watching videos of him from the 90s and I was like, he is so good looking. Oh, 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 oh. Like, hang on. I'm going to use Evan as a demonstration. He hugged me like this and I was like, I could die right here. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, please take a picture. She did. I was I was hardcore fangirling. <laughs> yeah. Jim Murray. Jim Dude Murray literally has sang background with Elvis Presley and was just like, Oh man, it's so nice to meet you. You seem like a nice young man. I'm like, you literally used to just like be best friends with my favorite singer of all time. So yeah, nominal really singer. About Jim. Nominal singer, too. Such a good singer. Jim Murray's a phenomenal. Even singer. past the Elvis days. I mean, like stuff like "Sail On." Tell me, "Sail On" isn't like one of the greatest songs of all time. There, uh, there's a song I let them. It's funny you bring up Jim Murray because, like, two weeks ago, I let them hear a Jim Murray song mm -hmm. that was off yeah. of his solo album. It was the first song in his solo album, one of his solo albums in the mid. And I can't think of the name of it. It was absolutely awesome though. Mm -hmm. Big that big '80s orchestra. Yep. Big mm -hmm. vocals. Oh, man, I wish I could remember it. It was so good. <laughs> I love it. I love all the 80s. Riley, you got one? I can't think of one in particular. I'm just so – when I've, I've gotten better about being introverted over time, but, like, <laughs> I, I'm so introverted that meeting anybody was quite intimidating. I guess <laughs> I guess you could say, like, Mark Trammell probably was probably one of the bigger ones. Oh, yeah. And even when I see him now, I'm just like uh, – I see uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he's so nice and everything, and so he's just he's like, like, "Hey, I'm like, oh. so. as, as far as me, it's kind of twofold because I feel like I've had two phases, and my early my early phase on that would have been either George or Glenn uh, with the cathedrals, or either Tim Riley when I was a kid, when I was a young teenager. Um, that was in their height, and then press on now. I've kind of gone, it's kind of odd. I've got to point and then that would get me at work. Cause like, it doesn't matter if we have board meetings or big meetings. I, I'm not really easily intimidated or starstruck or anything, but I remember a couple of years ago sitting at a table um, at an event where I was uh, representing SGMA and I was sitting at a table and, and, and Gerald Wolf was sitting beside me and Rodney Griffin was across the table and Chris Allman and uh, John Epley, and then right to the left was Mark Trammell and, and, and all that bunch. And I just sat there and I thought, thought back to that teen kid and, and my love for the music and my heart for the music. And I thought, I've been blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I was going to say something funny, Scott, but then you like, <laughs> and I don't want to ruin it. That's awesome. Mm. That is awesome. That was You're in so good company fun. too. Those are good guys. You name mm -hmm. them there. Yep. Yeah. You were sit you were sitting with the good ones. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. But uh just thinking about the impact that the music's had on my life and as a kid pulling me out and just being in the midst of something like that, it's just special. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. There's a comment from my sister, and if we'll pull it up, um, let's see. It says, if I met Steve Green or Lauren L. Harris, I would be starstruck. But the thing is, we have met Steve Green before. So. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at there. Oh, look wow. at that. I would love look at to Baby be Riley. Riley. Look, look at look him. him. I was short one time. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that was way back in, I think that was like 2010, 2009. So that was a good many years ago now. So cool. Yeah. I also I this year. That. He was I'm like sorry. my musical hero in the 80s. Mm -hmm. We listened Steve. to the Hide Them in Your Heart CDs growing up a lot, like the kids CD. I mean, mm -hmm. we listened to those things over and over and over again in the car. And I was like, I still know the songs to this day. And it, they turn them, they're such a bop, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here's a fun fact. I don't, I don't know if you know this, uh, Mr. Riley, but he was a member or one of the early members of the Gaither Vocal Band. Mm -hmm. I think I saw in a reunion one time they yeah. they did that. Yeah, that was I didn't know that, and I was like, he was part of the vocal. Band. I did not know that. Yeah. I was like, so that's there is no cool. other name. I remember he sang a song. There's mm -hmm. no other name. Great song. Ch I found it, Evan. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is such a good album. I am King. That's the song. Crown yes. King. Dude, Jim is. Honestly, the most underrated tenor in gospel music history. I'll die on that. Absolutely episode. awesome. And he's a mean cowbell player. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to do that question. These, these, this line of questioning anymore because I'm aggravated now. Nobody ever got me toe up for so I'm gonna, we're going to retire. Other than the jalapeno you got in your eye yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah are there, there was any a, jalapenos on set? I should have just went with that and said that's what that was, but uh, no, I, I've kept my hands out of the jalapeno since the uh, Ben and Maria show for sure. Um, again, we don't want to take up too much time. Panel, do y'all have any last? Quick hitting questions. I, I think I got all mine. Tonight has been such a fun episode. I haven't laughed this much in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I did not realize. And I mean, I, I talked more to Brother Wes at NQC than I did the girls because they had people coming all over the place. And I'm, I'm kind of the person that tries to stay out of the way and don't want to take up too much of their time when other people are waiting. So I did not realize what a hoot the young ladies are. <laughs> yes. Just to be quiet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are my kind of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going. I, always them, I always tell them, look, just be yourself, be yourselves, but don't embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom says the same thing to me. <laughs> ah, that's good There's stuff. A fine line. There's a fine yeah. line. There. Well, let's do this. Um, Brother Jason, if you'll pop that up on the screen um the website for morrisonsisters.com if you will go to the morrisonsisters.com you can find all things that you would like to know about the Martin sisters i got their background the bio you can go to see their tour schedule see where they're going to be at on the road and try to catch them when they're close to you or get in the car and go find them but check them out they got the merchandise on there that you can buy uh, social media links. I believe booking and contact information is on there as well. And here is my plea to y'all. Um, go check it out. You know, follow these fine folks on the social media sites. Share them with your friends. Go see them in concert. Contact and bring them to your church. I'm going to put this out here. I don't know how many people watch us in West Alabama because, I mean, that's kind of the area where I'm at. And then uh, Evan and um, Avery are not too far from me. If there's any church within the West Alabama area, you know, somewhere like from Hamilton toward, uh, I don't know, Reform to Tuscaloosa, and you would be fit, if you would be interested in having the Morrison sisters Come to your church. I will help you put that on. I will help you promote it, and I will contribute to getting them there. So I don't make that deal very often, but I want to get this fine family in our area. And uh, so, y'all, let's do that. Y'all y'all check them out and uh, have them there. What else would y'all like to promote that I might not have said? No, that's great. We would love to. Uh, we, we actually – it's funny you say that because we don't we don't do a lot of dates in Alabama. I, mean, I noticed that. Yeah, it's going to change. You're going to get a call here in a little bit. We're we're mostly in uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, a lot there. Uh, in January, February, we'll go to Florida for a little bit, do that thing. But mm -hmm. we don't get to. We've been to the. We're talking about the Vaughn family. We've we've actually been yeah. to their church. Mm -hmm. We've been to their church and saying Barry, that's Barry. Such a sweet Barry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, I don't know that we have 
ever been anywhere close to like like close to Birmingham. Okay. Yeah, well, that's yeah. my metro, so I, I mean, I'm gonna change that here in a little bit. Day, so. Make it we go. We go to Muscle Shoals yeah, once a year. They got the swampers. Yeah. Swampers. <laughs> this is a song sweet. <laughs> swampers. Yeah, no, 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 no. They got the swampers. Um. Yeah. So y'all help me out. Let's let's, let's get them here yeah. and uh, let's do it. A couple of quick things. Brother Jason, did you see? I don't know that anybody um, has put in yet for the flash drive yeah. sponsorship. Okay. All right. So we haven't seen anything come across. We'll leave that open. We'll watch these comments. If anybody makes a comment on any of the, uh, on the Southern Gospel Forward um, SBM Studios Facebook page or the YouTube channel, that's SBM Studios Facebook page or um YouTube channel. We'll watch for that and get with y'all. It was that it. Was we were we gonna do something? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we, we got the C D winner and we've got that. So good deal. Well we had another C D too, if you want to pick another one from the comments. So all right, here we go. First one that says I want it other than Evan Bradford that just put it up there. He does not <laughs> qualify. But the first one that I see that says I want it or me or give it to me or please or all right, no, Evan, you cannot have it. So quit putting your comment up there. Oh, that was good. Braves fan 98. Well, now we got to figure out who Braves fan is. There we go. And this is on YouTube. This is on YouTube. So I'm going to have, I guess I can comment and communicate. Listen, Braves fan 98, you need to send me maybe an Identify email. Identify yourself. Um, S B M M I N dot one three at gmail dot com. That's S B M M I N dot one three at gmail dot com. But if you'll send me something on that, we'll get you. I'm gonna I'm work Brother Wesley on all this. And we'll, we'll get it you'll have to tell us who he is because this is like the greatest. This is, this is the greatest time. mystery of the. All right, he says he's going to PM me on Facebook, so I'm going to find out who this is. So wow. here we go. He's a Braves fan. We like him. That's yeah, right. absolutely. Is well, guys, do? is it the Florida State thing? I don't watch baseball. I'm not coordinated. Enough. Good grief, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Florida State thing. I love oh. it. Chop on, Braves. Um, I really hope for my friends and Morris and sisters and brother Wesley that this has not been too painful. I hope it's been enjoyable. We have loved having you with us tonight. It's been a miserable experience. What are you talking about? We're never doing this again. This is awesome. We loved it. Hope we get well, to do it again. Seriously. Well, we love y'all too. And the next time we see each other, lunch is on me. How about that? Hey, these are girls, but they eat like dudes. I'm telling you. So. Okay. I like it. Wherever Evan wants to go. Wherever Evan wants to go. There you go. There you go. Hey, there you go. on me, y'all. There you go. Road trip to Ashburn. We're actually going to be there next week. We'll we'll send this you some week. pictures. This, or, week. this week. We'll send you some pictures. Look, I'll straight up just not go to school this week and come up and have Dario. Sounds good. Skip Sounds school good. for Dario's. I hear you. Can I make a request for Cortez Convention? Come on. Can we do a Veggie Tales karaoke? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, we can. That would be, be great. Fantastic. Yes, I would kill some cheeseburgers. Y'all, seriously, y'all keep your ears out because with all of us convening, we're going to do some Southern Gospel forward things during the week of NQC. Awesome. There's going to be a couple of meetups. Question, question. Where, yes. where, do you know your booth number? Yeah, they put yeah, it, it, it's so cool. 604, it's back kind of where the Isbells were last year by the artist entry door back there. Yes. The big room. The big, big room. room. Okay. Big room. Yeah, we'll, big we'll see y'all. We're over by the food court. Y'all know where we're at. So. Yes, sir. Hey, we'll trade. We to the food court. But I would just come hang out with y'all. We hey, can. Oh, good. Come on down. And we sing, we sing Thursday night this year. Thursday night. Thursday Excellent. Night. So, yeah, we'll, yep. Yeah. Y'all be watching. We'll be putting stuff out there. Oh, one other thing real quick. I'm sorry. Um, we talked before we went live. We we talked in the past about doing a Southern Gospel Forward T-shirt, and uh, we haven't done that yet. Our group has grown. I think we're going to do that. So y'all be watching the SBM Studios page or the uh, Southern Gospel Forward group. Y'all be watching that. We'll have more information coming on that. 
But uh, we thank you all so much. Be sure to share this episode, whether you're on Facebook or, you know, subscribe to that YouTube. Um, We appreciate you all so much. Anything else from a young guest other than balloons flying all over the place? T-shirt. Can we get a balloon T-shirt? Can we get a balloon T-shirt? I don't know what's going to have balloons on it. Oh, yeah. Can we reveal Brave Spam? Can we reveal Brave Spam? Yes, I'm going to love it if I like, am good friends with this person. Yeah. It's actually it's Evan. Be dad. It's actually me. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh. So, um, well, y'all, thank you again. Thanks, Brother Wesley and girls. You, we appreciate brother. y'all so much. And thank uh, y'all anything for all that you do. Yeah, we we anything I can ever do for y'all, you got my digits. Just dial them uh, anytime. Likewise. All right. Well, that'll do it for us tonight, y'all. Thank you so much for joining in and watch us in a couple of weeks. We'll be back with episode 19 featuring Priscilla Franks of yeah. the Franks family, uh, Josh and, and Ashley's really daughter, Priscilla. So y'all join in with us for the next one. Until next time, we love y'all so much. Y'all have a good evening, and we'll see you down the road. Bye.